Mike Stilley here for Bison TV, proudly presented by The Hub. Here with fifth year thrower, Brooklyn, Bo Brooklyn Boyd, excuse me. Brooklyn, how are you doing today? I am good, I'm loving my reading week so far. Great, good to hear, good to have that rest, I'm sure. Yes. I want to just start off with your personality a little bit. You're a charismatic athlete, you know, you like to smile a lot, get people going. Um, how important is that just in terms of like team morale? You're a captain, so I'm sure, you know, it certainly helps with getting everybody sort of on the same page in a sense. Um, yeah, it's a long question. Um, <laughs> it's good. I like to be happy and I think that it's good to just be loose and stay relaxed and smile in and it keeps me relaxed and my coach sometimes relaxed. And when I'm happy, some of the other athletes Athletes are like people I throw with are usually more relaxed around me too because they understand that I'm just having fun. Success for you at the canvas level for the past two years where you've won the event in terms of shot put. What's been the key to sort of your consistency over the last couple of years being able to get that done? Oh god, uh, training hard but also having fun making sure we get the uh, right amount of breaks too like you can't overtrain you can't be too hectic and especially with school and everything like the work just piles up so you, as a student athlete you got to make sure you have time to study and to train and lift weights and have fun so yeah <laughs> Nationals, obviously, you've had strong results as well at Nationals, but uh, obviously, as we head into that time of year, where are you at in terms of your confidence level and how things have gone for you just this season? This season has been a little bit more rough for me because my arm has been a little bit injured, so that's kind of a downer, but I'm still here. I still practice a lot and try to rehab it and get it to where it needs to be for Ken West and for Nationals. So I'm hoping to do okay, and I would be happy just to throw far and get a personal best if I can, and yeah. Now let's talk a little bit about just the, the group of throwers that we have here. It's a, a relatively young group aside from yourself. Uh, you know, is that a benefit? Do you like being able to sort of be the leader amongst that group? Or, you know, what's the, just sort of the demographic like uh, amongst you guys? Yeah, there wasn't a lot of throwers. And then this year we got a few more rookies. And uh, for sure we got more girls than we do guys. So it's kind of nice having a bunch of girls to throw with instead of just being me because it just felt like it was me for a while. Um, but it's nice having the younger group, and especially once I'm gone, it'll be nice to have them to hold down the fort. So yeah, we haven't had a lot of like throwers in a while, so it's really nice being able to compete instead of having like three people to throw against. There was ten the other night at our competition, so it's really nice having a good group, and we all get along pretty well. So let's talk actually just a little bit about the form itself. You know, being able to for people that don't know, I mean, what goes into throwing a shot put? You know, just get, making sure that you're able to have uh, you know the most effective throw possible. So shot put, the key is to keep that shot put really nice and close into your neck. And honestly, when you first start throwing, I sometimes like the next day I have a bruise because on my neck because you really got to jam it in there and keep your head back. A lot of people drop their arm and pull it away from that. And then that's a fault when you throw because it looks more of like a, a throw than a put technically. There's a few different motions you can do. So there's like rotation where you spin or there's the glide, which is what I do. And that's where you just move in a straight line across a circle and uh, you bring your momentum with you. And yeah, the footwork. It's hard to do, but you got. I know the shoes are flat, so a lot, of, a lot of other people who don't know track ask what kind of spikes I wear for shot put, and I'm like, no, no, they're flat. I had a distance runner once ask me what kind of spikes I have, and I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> they're flat. I figured that would be kind of hard to yeah, you know, just get, get stuck underneath the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, as you reflect on your career, obviously this is your last season, you'll be capping it off with Nationals at home, which is very exciting, but as you reflect on your career as a Bison, what stands out for you? I really think that the ability to be a student athlete really helped me in life, like being able to organize stuff. Like Because I have friends who are just students and the amount of stuff I put into things compared to them, it's just different because I always have to be at practice and work out and then also there's working on the side. So it's really like hard to organize your life and everything. And then obviously I'm glad to still be a captain and be a part of the team and stuff, especially a team this big. Like other sports, usually it's 10, 20 people on a team. Here we have 120 or so. It's really different to be a part of a family that's an individual sport, but also a team sport. So that's really cool. Well, thank you so much, so very much for your time, Brooklyn. <laughs> Appreciate it. All the best for the rest of the <laughs> thank season. Thank you.